guys, welcome to Watkins Way. Today we're gonna make one of my mom's cobbler recipes. It's gotta be over 100 years old. I think it was her mother's and she was born, my mom was born in 1924. So what we're gonna do is use a cup of whole milk, a cup of regular sugar, a cup of very important self-rising flour. And to make it real easy, I she used real strawberries. I'm just gonna use a strawberry pie filling. And what you want to do, you get a, uh, I think it's a 22 ounce can, and you put it in a pan, and heat it up a little bit. It's just easier to work with when you spoon the strawberries into your, we're going to make this in a cast iron skillet. So let's get busy with this. We're going to use a stick of butter. And then when we get it all mixed up, we're going to put it in the oven for 350 degrees for 45 minutes to an hour. And the reason I say that is some ovens cook differently. So I like to put it in there and then I like to check it after 45 minutes. So let's melt our stick of butter. Okay, now let's blend our three ingredients. A cup, a cup, a cup. A cup of self-rising flour, a cup of whole milk, and a cup of sugar. And it's pretty amazing. When we pour the batter, always pour the batter in first. Then you spoon the fruit on top. Then you put it in the oven. And when you take it out 45 minutes to an hour later, the bread, the batter is, comes to the top and the fruit goes to the bottom. All right, so we got this mixed up. Let's just set that over there. And our butter is almost melted. All right, so let's pour our Do it just in no certain order. You just want to spoon all of this in, and it will change places. If this is fruit to go to the bottom, the batter will form a nice, nice, moist bread. Come to the top, and you can use peaches. You can use you can use any fruit. Sometimes I use lemon, and lemon is not very popular. I think the most popular cobbler is probably a peach cobbler. Uh, I've done apple cobblers. It's real easy, and if you like apples, that's a good one too. It's almost like an apple pie if you add ice cream to it. Uh, like I said, there's no, cert no order. Just put this in here. It's gonna move around. Everything's gonna work out good. All right. Now I got my oven preheated to 350 degrees and you want to put it on the center rack. This is going to be a beautiful strawberry copper here in about 45 minutes to an hour. Okay, our 45 minutes is up and remember I said 45 minutes to an hour. So let's take a look at it, see what it looks like. All right, this is a good looking strawberry cobbler. All right. What I need to do is I'm gonna let this rest for about 10 minutes and then we're gonna dish it out in a bowl and put some Tillamook vanilla bean ice cream on top of it. Stay with me. Okay, it's been about 10 minutes. I've let this settle in a little bit. I got my Tillamook vanilla bean ice cream. Tillamook makes really, really good ice cream. So I'm gonna start over here and still a little, a little warm. All right. You know, the best part about this cobbler is this right here, the crunchy part. That is so sweet and crunchy. So let me get a scoop of ice cream out. Ice cream, and now is 
time for me to do the Watkins way and do a little tasting of it. Get a little bit of ice cream, a little bit of the bread on top. Mmm, this looks so good. Mmm. Looks amazing. That is so delicious. This bread right here is crunchy. You got the strawberries in there, the vanilla bean ice cream, you got hot and cold. It's, it's the perfect combination. I gotta have one more bite. One more little bite. Mm. Okay guys, that's our strawberry cobbler. Make sure you subscribe, hit that bell for notifications. Every Thursday I have a new video that comes out. It's a mixture of cocktails and southern food and some California food. See you later. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.